Hey, what's up, Rockstar? So, yeah, I'm doing these top of the blog extras quite a bit lately. <laughs> There's always some shit going down, and you know, I, my, my whole thing with top of the blog extras is whenever there's anything that explodes on the internet, um, I have to talk about it, and uh, today would be no different. So this time, we are going to talk about the racist comments that have happened in Los Angeles. I would be remiss if I did not talk about what is going on in Los Angeles with the Clipper owner, um, Donald Sterling. For if anybody is living under a rock, Donald Sterling was having a four-year affair with a woman by the name of V. Stiviano. She is a mixed heritage girl black and latina she had been posting on instagram and um you know all her social media pictures of her with various black people evidently she brings black people to the games <laughs> um and she took a picture with magic johnson um none of these things that you would think would be a problem however mr sterling sees it differently he was talking to her on the phone and she recorded him. And to make a long, long, long conversation short, he felt that she should not be promoting the fact that she has black friends. Um, she shouldn't take pictures with black friends. She shouldn't bring black people to the Clippers games. She should present herself as a delicate Latina and delicate white woman, even though she has no white in her. And when you look at her, she definitely does not look like she has any white in her. She, I don't know what she looked like. She ain't a really a cute girl to me, but, you know, she does have this exotic look. And, you know, that is definitely the look that men seem to go for these days. But he continues on in the recording digging a hole deeper and deeper for himself um, because like I said she is actually recording him and I'm sure with the intention of releasing it to the world which is what she did now her lawyers say that she did not release the tapes that somehow the tapes ended up on I think radar radar online or something like that and eventually TMZ got a hold of it you know everyone else got a hold of it but originally she's saying that she did not leak the the tape she had the tape obviously and why would you record somebody unless you had, you know, you knew you had use that you were going to use it at some point? It's a big mess. This is definitely not something that needed to happen for Mr. Sterling, considering that he, you know, he has an NBA team. He's an owner of an NBA team. We all know that the NBA, uh, I think Charles Barkley said, is like 80% black, if not larger than that. So for him to think this way, well, listen, first of all, he can think however he wants, but for him to voice this, and to get caught, because that's basically what happened, you know, it's, it's just, it's bad for old man. My opinion is, y'all gonna fucking kill this man. He's 80 years old, and uh, he can't take this shit. Y'all know it. He gonna have a stroke or a heart attack. I ain't wishing it on the man, but he, he ain't gonna be able to withstand this. But my opinion is, I don't think I was all that surprised. I wasn't surprised at all because of a few things. First of all, I know that their racism still very much exists. Uh, today. I also feel like, you know, he's 80 years old. He has that mentality of back in the day. I also feel that there are some other white people that probably feel the same way as him and just haven't been, you know, so unlucky as to get recorded and, you know, his, they shit put on blast. I mean, you guys know we at home, I say all kind of shit at the house. That there's no way I would put on video. I just feel like it's unfortunate. It was too bad that he was tricked because it's obvious that the girl was baiting him and carrying, you know, making sure that he said all kind of shit to incriminate himself. He didn't pick up on it. He just kept on going on and on. And that shit was fucked up. I'll talk about that later. But you should be able to say whatever you want to say in your home. Um, you know, in your own privacy of your own home and not really be held accountable for it. But then we have to look at the big picture, okay? That's in the perfect world. In the real world, <laughs> once the shit get out, then it's out. Yeah, we, we should be able to say what we want in the, in the privacy of our home home, but you also need to not get your shit recorded, okay? So now that it's out for everybody, if villains are hurt, you know, people are enraged, people are offended. You know, Magic Johnson, she, the picture that she took with Magic Johnson was 
was an extreme sore point for, you know, Mr. Sterling. He said, you know, that he loves Magic Johnson and considers him a friend and he's done a lot for the community and all that. But just don't take a picture with the nigga. Don't bring him to my games. <laughs> people, people have a right to feel how they feel now that, you know, you have been exposed for what you really truly believe. Magic Johnson said that he and his wife will not go to any Clipper games as long as he is the owner. And that brings us to the next next part of this discussion, which is what is going to happen to the Clippers? They got the new commissioner. What's the man's name? The new commissioner's name is Adam Silver. Okay, he just got in there in February. I know he was like, fuck. Can a nigga sit down and, you know, get his desk together and shit before I got to be dealing with shit like this? This is his first crisis that he's going to have to come up with some sort of solution for they say that he can do as little as fine sterling he can also suspend him for however long he wants up to indefinitely um and if he's suspended then that means that he would have no interaction day-to-day -day, say on um, with the running of this team all the way up to they can make him sell his team I personally don't think that they're going to make him sell his team. Um, I understand that there's a lot of pressure and shit in Los Angeles, but you know what? That shit is going to blow over. I promise you. Let something new happen out there and they're going to forget about this because that's just how it always goes. But I just don't see them making him sell the team. I mean, if they do make him sell a team, then that's fine, but I don't see it happening. It has to go to the board of the, 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 the owners of the teams. I think there's 29 franchises. It has to be at least 22 people that agree that he needs to do that. I don't know if I feel like all 22 of, you know, his cronies will vote him out. But, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. I think the NBA is supposed to say whatever the sanctions and shit is going to be today. So that today is Tuesday. So we'll see what happens. I really feel personally when somebody was so when I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, I, I was feeling like you know, that they were going to make him, you know, distance himself from the team, so suspend him, and, you know, just kind of get him off of the, you know, take the sore spot away, <laughs> okay, so chop off that which offends thee, and get rid of it, and then go on with it, because, you know, the Clippers is, it's an organization, it's a business, you got all these people that work for the organization, you know, uh, the basketball players on throughout the office, and you know, whatever. You know, I don't I don't really know what else we want to happen with that team. Now, you know, people were talking about the team members needed to, there need to be some sort of boycott or something like that. And, and yes, I agree that there needed to be some sort of statement by the team to let, you know, everybody know that they don't support what Sterling said as well. And when they played the other day, they turned their jerseys inside out and... <clears throat> You know, they wore their practice gear, didn't say Clippers. And, uh, you know, th th these guys are just trying to do what they have to do. People are really upset that they're still playing. They're saying that nobody's taking a stand. Nobody is boycotting. But let me just ask you something. Many of us have jobs. Most of us have jobs. Many of us don't like our bosses. Some of us have heard our bosses say some downright dirty shit. Do you not go to work because you don't agree with what your boss say? Um, do you have fucking bills? You have, an, uh, you know, an obligation to get shit done. Uh, it's the same with these guys. Even though they're millionaires, you have to understand that they got bills, they got mouths to feed, they got a job to do just like anybody else. You cannot expect or ask people to not do their job just because they don't agree with the boss. Okay, let's deal with the boss. Okay, this is one of those minor occasions when something can be done to the boss. Many times, nothing really can be done to, you know, on your regular nine to five. So, I don't expect these guys to not work. I don't expect them to not. And they worked hard. This is the best season that the Clippers have had in a long time. They're in the middle of the first round of, um, of the uh, playoffs. Um, they're tied up 2-2 two and two with Golden State. And, you know, these boys deserve to do whatever they can do. They got Doc Rivers there. And, you know, that was the whole reason of bringing them there so that they can help. You know, he can help try to bring these team, this team to some sort of winnings. And then all this shit gets blown and dashed away by some old idiot ass old man with the slave mentality. And isn't it crazy that it's like really totally a slave um, parallel in the conversation. He was talking about how, you know, he takes care of these black people. He feeds them. He houses them. Who else does this for them? They work for him and he's good to them. And it was just really just like... <laughs> It, 
it, I mean, the shit couldn't have been written out better if it was a fucking script, okay? I know he regrets it, but I also know that that's really truly how he felt. Now he's embarrassed because, you know, all the United States is pissed at him and everything, but you, you also got to know that he has quite a few su supporters, those who are going to remain nameless because they ain't trying to fuck up their shit, but, you know, he... he, he <laughs> I'm going to tell you, just it is not all that horrible for him where he won't be able to, to eventually, if the man don't have no fucking heart attack or stroke, that he ain't going to be able to pull out and pull through. So that's it on Mr. Sterling. Um, you know, the public opinion is that he needs to get rid of the team. Um, Magic Johnson and the owners for the da uh, the Dodgers are now saying that they want to buy the team from him. I don't even think Sterling has really spoken out since all this shit has happened. Um, but, uh, yeah, the public opinion is that he needs to get rid of the team. I don't see it happening, but like I said, we'll see. Now, we got Donald Sterling out the way. Let's talk about this bitch, <laughs> St Stiviano. How many times have I told y'all men out there to keep your hoes in check? We cannot, um, you know give a pardon, a complete pardon to Miss Stiviano because um, she trifling and she got some shit with her too. She is having an affair with a married man. He's fucking 80 years old. She obviously has no attraction for him and loves him. I mean, it's possible, but I'm going to tell you that possibility is so minuscule that it ain't even no, there ain't no sense of even trying to talk about a possibility, okay? She was with him for his money, um, knowing <laughs> that he's a racist. So meaning that she was taking, you know, advantage of the fact that he felt the way he felt around, uh, you know, about people that she comes from. However, she's still going to sleep with him, fuck him, take his money and all of that. Okay, she's selling out to get what she wants. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen all the time. Women do it all the time. But, um, you know, I can't just, I mean, I can't just give her a pass. It was obvious that she was baiting him and he didn't know. Um, you know, she was saying things to make herself look even better and uh, to make him look even worse i just i mean that, that, that the, the stiviano girl was coming up from this relationship she um as a matter of fact she's being sued by donald sterling's um wife i kept they kept saying that it was his ex-wife but no they're saying that this was definitely his 100 percent they still together wife the wife is saying that donald sterling let me see y'all i wrote this shit down that he's they're saying that Donald Sterling and bought the child two Bentleys, a Ferrari, a Range Rover. He's given her over $500,000. He gave her $1.8 million to buy a duplex over near the Beverly Center, which, uh, you know, I'm from Los Angeles. That's an expensive-ass part of town. And uh, he also gave her like $250,000 for the upkeep of the duplex. So, <laughs> Miss uh, Sterling was like, bitch, you gonna give me back half my fucking money, okay? She's saying that because she's married to Donald Sterling, he bought that shit, and, you know, that was half her money, so she won her shit back, and we're gonna see how that case goes, but they're saying that the girl released the tape in retaliation for the court case. Yeah, she she's filed herself, but with all that being said, you know, Donald Sterling, he, he definitely did it to, to himself. He was so upset. He was just like, I don't care what you do, okay? You can take them to the movies. You can go out, y'all. You can even fuck them, okay? Don't bring them to my damn game. I was like, well, damn. He's even more willing to let the girl go fuck him. But, you know, but I guess it don't matter because all she is to him is, you know, a good fuck. I guess something good to look at because I don't know. I told you, I don't even think that she's a pretty girl. But maybe that's just been bad pictures of her. But she got, like, the big gums, like... All the pictures is like it's all this gum showing and stuff. I was <laughs> just like, what the fuck is going on with her? She kind of looked like the um lion lady, the one that's had too much uh, plastic surgery. What's her name, y'all? Y'all, she's just strange looking. But like I'm saying, maybe those are bad pictures. But anyway, y'all, I just I had to come on here and do this video because everybody's been asking about it. I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. Like I said, the NBA is going to, you know, tell us what's going on with it today. Chris Paul, who is the players, NBA Players Association uh, president, saying that they're going to also go uh, after this aggressively. So I guess they're putting some sort of pressure on the commissioner to, you know, really do something that is going to make a difference and, you know, put everybody's mind at ease. So, that, that's it. We, we gonna see. But, yeah, I had to go on and do this. My girlfriend on Saturday sent me 
a message in the middle of the fucking night and called me first thing yesterday morning was like, girl, I thought you was going to do a video. I was like, Debbie, nigga, this is Atlanta. First of all, we ain't all that pressed here in Atlanta like it is in Los Angeles. I'm sure it's a big deal out there, but I mean, it's a big deal here, obviously, as well. But yeah, no, it didn't. I didn't feel like it required me to, to do anything immediately, but then people have been asking and I figure I'll go on and give my opinion. And that's it, y'all. We're going to hope. Hopefully some shit will happen this week for a regular top of the blogs because, you know, now that I'm did this top of the blogs extra, some, you know, some shit don't happen this week. I ain't doing one this week. I'm going to do R&B Divas for sure. Um, but other than that, I don't know. But anyway, that's it. You guys tell me your opinions on this whole Donald Sterling thing. Um, who do you feel that he needs to give up his team? Do you feel like just being suspended and fined is going to do the job? Do you feel like this has affected the NBA negatively? You know, were you surprised? All of that, leave it in the in the comments below, okay? All right, so I'm It's Rocks. The channel is Forts Rocks, and everything I do will be in the bottom bar. All right? I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I plan on doing the same. Until next time, Rock Stars. Bye.